Okay, welcome back. You're watching NTV Weekend Edition. We're broadcasting live from the Kampala Serena Conference Center. Now, as part of plans to reform the aviation sector in the country, Parliament's Infrastructure Committee has been seeking input from different stakeholders on the proposed amendment of the Civil Aviation Authority Act. During the course of the interactions with these stakeholders, certain issues were raised pertaining the current state of the aviation sector in Uganda today. Now, tonight on Talk of the Nation, Viani Luja, the public relations officer of the Civil Aviation Authority, seeks to give an overview of the aviation sector today while clarifying some of the issues raised. All right, welcome to the program, Fiani. Thank you very much, Sheila. Let's start with the basics. You, mm -hmm. uh, you want to have an amendment of the Civil Aviation Authority Act. Yes. We haven't had that act since 1991. 1991 what yes. is the rationale? What exactly are you looking at? The rationale for the amendments to the Civil Aviation Act is to, there are a number of things that were pointed out by the International Civil Aviation Organization. Uh, we need to harmonize our act so that it is in sync with those of other states elsewhere. Some of the key things that we are looking to amend in this amendment bill, uh, I can give an example. We are proposing to change the title of the head of the CAA, who is currently managing director, from managing director to director general, and that is the standard across the board. That is the title used in all other CAAs in other countries. Besides that, we are also seeking to change the name of the company from Civil Aviation Authority to Uganda Civil Aviation Authority. This helps when you go out there in other countries, uh, they all have civil aviation authorities. So you, our company name is Civil Aviation Authority, the, as stated in the act. So we are adding Uganda at the beginning. But there are even more salient amendments. For instance, we are introducing uh, an accident and incident investigation uh, bureau. Mm -hmm. So that it is an independent body of CAA. In the event that there is an incident or air crash, so that it is investigated or handled by that independent body. So that doesn't exist as we speak? Currently, that body is not there as an independent body. Mm -hmm. The way we operate currently is uh, the minister constitutes an investigation team, and that team undertakes the investigation. All right, let's talk about um, our safety issues, because you mm -hmm. know that's what you raised there, and that's what you seek to change. Mm -hmm. In 2014, the ICAO audits, or the international... Uh, Civil Aviation Organization, organization audit mm. brought out the fact that Uganda was doing badly in the region at 61%. The rest, you know, Kenya, 78, 71, or 68, Tanzania, mm. were doing uh, sadly, very, very badly no. as a country no, at we, 61. We, 61, we are not doing badly. Uh, to put the record straight, perhaps, in that audit, it was the International Civil Aviation Organization uh, safety audit. Uh, ICVM, um, and uh, what happened is the average for East African states was uh, 48 percent. Then the average for African states was 44.8 percent. But were the last in the region? Uganda scored 61 percent. Who were the last that in the region? Not at all. If East African states average is 48 percent, and we have 61 percent. That means we are, we are way above. No, le no okay, let's, let's, <coughs> let's get the statistics right. Yes, I think you need to look at the statistics. Tanzania, Tanz mm -hmm. Rwanda was 72%, Tanzania yes. was 68 mm -hmm. Kenya was 78 Uganda East was 61 Af East African states, member states are five. There is Burundi, which you have not mentioned. The figure is not there. The, so, so you're the, comfortable the with having 61 when Kenya has 78? No, uh, and let us not just look at the region. Yeah. Uh, look, there is uh, the Africa states. Uh, the African <coughs> state's average was actually 44%. Anyhow, there so why, uh, why, why are we... Before, why before we you leave that one, Sheila. Okay. Mm. No, I'm still on the same question. Okay. Mm. Why are we at 61% in safety mm. when we pride ourselves in mm. even mm. wanting to have a national airline and yet okay. we are polling at 61% I, I'm going in matters to get, of safety? I'm going to get there, but I want to first further clarify on the other one. In 2012, there was an interministerial conference in Abuja and it, it set a minimum target, safety target for African states. And that target was set at 60%. Mm -hmm. So at least we pride in the fact that we scored above the safety target of the African states, which was 60%. We scored 61. 
and we scored above the East African states average mm -hmm. as well as above the African states average. But that said, one of the reasons why we did not do as well in that audit, a number of things that were pointed out, the salient one was to do with the regulations that we have in place. We needed to have regulations that are harmonized, that have certain th provisions that are not there. And that is the main rationale for this amendment bill that we just had before Parliament last week. If ICAO was to come back now or in future, we would actually score very highly because now that bill, we have moved a long step with it mm -hmm. in terms of the proposed amendments and some of them impede on safety. For instance, one of the other provisions in the bill that we are proposing is for us to have more authority as CAA to provide on-spot uh, penalties in the event of any infringement on safety issues. Mm -hmm. Currently, we are required to first go to court. It's a protracted process. And the, the inspectors from ICAO, when they came, that is what they found as our regulation stating. And that's a weakness that made us score very low. If that, that is what we are improving on now. And I can assure you that we shall do much better. But besides that one mm -hmm. of 2014, we had an, a subsequent audit in 2017. Uh, it was different. This was Security USAP, Universal Security Audit Program, Continuous Monitoring Approach, in uh, June 2017. And Uganda scored very highly. We scored 81.8%, well above the global average, which was 72%. OK. So let's talk about, again, on mm. matters of safety. How yes. are we equipped as Mm. an airport or as an authority mm. to handle matters of emergencies. I understand you have one mm. or two ambulances that the, yeah. the airport is at, you know, you can only transport a certain mm. number of people in case there's an emergency at the airport. Mm. Yes, in terms of safety, we have a lot of equipment that uh, helps us to combat emergencies. We regularly conduct emergency exercises. With one ambulance? No, it is not one. We have more than one ambulance. But besides that, we have an arrangement. We, we don't need to rely on CAA ambulances per se. We have an arrangement with stakeholders, including all the hospitals, not only in Entebbe, but also in Kampala. And as part of our emergency exercise, which we conduct every once every two years, we invite. We once every two years is every when you Every two years, yes, we do an emergency exercise. Uh, and that is in the law. It is, uh, it is an ICAO regulation. Okay. You can do more, but that is the minimum. And when, whenever we conduct that exercise, we test the systems. We simulate a situation like an aircraft has crashed, and we activate the system. We call the, the hospitals and all the other people, and we check the response time from Kampala to the airport, what mm -hmm. time it takes them. And the last time we did uh, that, we checked the ambulances from Kampala, did it in about 15 minutes. The ones from Entebbe, of course, spent shorter time. So it's not only our equipment in terms of uh, ambulances, but we rely on the other hospitals. But besides that, we also have uh, a lot of fire trucks. Okay. This is even more important because uh, when uh, an accident happens, you need to put down the fire immediately. And Let's talk about equipment. some of the challenges that have been f are facing or affecting our spaces. Mm. Etihad Airways is living in March. Uh, mm. British Airways left. Yes. How, uh, how, you know, how, what, what, what would you attribute this departure of the big, some of the biggest airlines that are coming into our country? That departure does not worry me at all in light of this fact that as we speak, there are several other international operators starting operations. Just the other day, we launched Jumbo Jet operations. But Jumbo Entebbe. Jet is part of Kenya Airways, so there's yes, no big is, difference. It is a subsidiary. And it's a low-budget airline, It is a surely. subsidiary of you Kenya cannot, Airways. You cannot equate it to Etihad Airways. I'm still coming, Shida. Jumbo Jet is a subsidiary of Kenya Airways, but it is coming with low rates. It's a low-cost carrier, and it's going to do two flights per day. But don't talk about Jumbo Jet only. In the last three years, we have had three other new operators coming and joining Uganda's airspace. But besides operators, the operations are really growing. How when are you they look, growing? When Can you, you look quantify? At, uh, Can you when you look at the current operators like Emirates, mm -hmm. a number of them have changed from smaller to bigger aircraft. Emirates, for instance, was using an Airbus 320 with, with a load capacity of 220 passengers. They changed from that aircraft to a Boeing 777, which has a load capacity of 360 passengers. That is recently. Qatar Airways changed from an Airbus 320 that had 144 passengers to an Airbus 330-200 series, which carries 260 passengers. Uh, besides some air <coughs> airlines changing from smaller to bigger aircraft, we have had several others increasing frequencies. 
Look at Kenya Airways, for instance. They had five flights a day, every day. They have increased to six flights per day. Which, is, four which, is, also, which is also capitalizing on the monopoly that, that you know, they're, they're enjoying and have a very costly... Yes, but in this, in, in, in this, pursuit, in this particular roads. instance, the, the good news is the fact that operators are increasing frequencies shows that the industry is growing, that much as some operators are departing, Others, and big operators, are, not, not, just, not just any other are, operator, but, but Etihad Airways. Yes, Etihad is big, but uh, there is a lot of competition on that route. You have to look at that. Um, I've told you Emirates, the same route which they use, but of course Etihad was going to Abu Dhabi. But Emirates has changed from smaller to bigger on the same route, All which right, means so business is good. But not only that, Brussels Airlines, mm -hmm. effective 1st December, changed, increased from five frequencies a week to daily f frequencies. Ethiopian Airlines had two daily flights. They increased to three flights per day. Oh, in just 10 seconds, some of yes. the other issues that some mm. of stakeholders have been pointing is that there's, there's need to be a separation mm. from Civil Aviation Authority and Civil, I think, and Airports, Airports Authority. Uh, Airports Authority. Why hasn't this been done? Been done? Um, that suggestion is there, and uh, it has not even come from the stakeholders. We are the first who conceived that, uh, that idea. But we, when you look at our operations, last year our passengers increased from 1.5 the previous year million to 1.65 million passengers. When you compare that traffic with Kenya, for instance, where it is separated, Nairobi Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, which is one of several international airports in Kenya, had 6.8 million passengers. Another country which has just separated operations is Singapore. Singapore only separated last year, but they have over 62 million passengers they have just separated those two entities after various studies. This is what we are going through. At the current traffic that we have, it is so low to warrant a separation of two entities, to have an airport authority and a regulator. Because the two how need can, to how be can self sustaining the How mm. can the regulator, which is Civil Aviation Authority, yes. be the one, you know, it's like uh, you, mm. have, uh, you have, say, Bank of Uganda owning mm. a commercial bank. No, no. You're a regulator, but no. you want to also that, that, take that, charge of civil aviation. That, I mean that, that, that example does not apply. The, the, that, that, the way that applies is if, for instance, CAA was operating an airline. That is the example that relates to that. But you're not, take, you're but, you're not uh, taking charge said, of the airport, which determines which yes. flights come in, which, which flights get out. All these Anyhow, countries have that have <laughs> separated were <laughs> previously says, doing this. Okay. They, were, they were all CAA in the beginning. They were handling regulation and the airport authority. They have only come to separate at a time when they are ready, when the level of traffic they have is sufficient to sustain operations. Okay. So we shall get there. It's just not the right time. Okay, of course, there are a lot of issues. We're expanding mm. our airports. We yes. have eight, eight bays. We need to increase to 20 bays. Mm. But our flights are going to increase as well. Yes. 60 flights, I think, once Uganda Airlines comes in. Mm. And we might not have enough capacity to hold all these airlines at once with just 20 bays and three bridges. No, a lot of work is already going on. We are expanding Where are we going to get the expansion directly? space after that? No, we, the expansion is already on. <laughs> and as we expand, we already have land where we are expanding. Currently, we are constructing a new cargo center, which is coming with and the, 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 the aircraft. And the upcountry air, airstrips mm. somehow seem to have died a very no, they unnatural have not, death. they have not. We maintain them and we continue to work on them. There are plans to upgrade some of them to international status. Okay. Three of them, Arua, Kasese, Guru. Kasese has been in the, in mm. the news since, I think, 2001. Yes. The president... Thank that you so much. Thank <laughs> you. <Welcome. laughs> I have to go. Thank that you. was the conversation.